Hello and welcome to another episode of Here to Record Show and Tell. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at the catch box. This is a little unit for uh, throwing around uh, events, conferences, meetups, all that kind of stuff. And basically, it's a big foam padded box. And on the inside, there's a microphone and um, you can put your own microphone uh, transmitter and receiver in the venue. And you've got a little audience participation microphone. You can throw it out into the audience if they have a question or if you're doing a workshop of some sort and you want it recorded. You can throw this around between people. Um, it's pretty cool, uh, but let's just take a look at it and uh, go into more detail and see you know, what it's all about and what your options are with it. So if we look around the uh, box itself, um, it's, if you can, can't tell from the size of my hands, it's like 18 centimeters square pretty much, which is around seven inches and um, consists of two main parts, which is this main um, padded area for protecting your equipment and for protecting your uh, audience members. Um, it's, yeah, it's a big box basically. Got a little handle on the bottom and um, it's got Catchbox, lo Catchbox logo on the side here and a custom logo. This is just a company I worked for um, where you can just print your own logo on two of the sides or four of the sides so you can just completely customize it yourself. And that's sort of the main outside big foam padded box. And then you have this inside column. If I can remove it, it's magnetically sealed in there. You can hear that. But if I pop it out, it takes a bit of effort. There we go. And you can see that it's kind of like a, it's a little uh, cylinder. It's got a Velcro wrap. In here you put your microphone uh, pack, so the uh, transmitter. Um, and then just in there, you can just about see that there's a connection for microphone, but we'll get to that in a minute. Other side, there's an on-off button and a battery for powering the microphone. Um, this is the Catchbox Pro version, so it says Pro in this little sticker here. And that's pretty much it. There's a built-in microphone in at the top here. And um, what you're able to do is bring in your own little mic pack. So here I have the, uh, the Sennheiser EW100S or G3s, and um, I can just put this in here, plug it into the microphone, and it works um, as you'd expect it to work. In the box, you also get, um, whenever you order it, you also get some adapters. So in this case, I have a little three and a half millimeter adapter here, um, but there's a few other ones for other mic packs as well. Um, and they have a whole host of other accessories on their website you can pick up based on your personal needs. But for this particular one, I can just use that little uh, three and a half mil jack, plug it into the top of my mic pack, and then, I can, on the actual center column, I can uh, plug in the other end, just in the back there, there's a little like phono style connection. Plug that in. And then this little mic pack just sits nicely in there. You will have to tuck away the cables a little bit depending on what size your mic pack is. And um, yeah, it'll just sit in there nicely and you can seal it up. Um, I'm just going to do that now and unmute this other microphone. And then we'll just test it out and have a look and see how it sounds. And you can hear this microphone. It's probably quite loud. You don't have to make it too close to your face. I'll just pop it in here. And that's it. Uh, the cash box is ready to be um, thrown around. Now, some of the cool things about it is that it has um, a built-in auto mute technology, they call it, which basically means that you can throw it around and you won't hear all the hustle and bustle, rustling of, uh, microphone noises. I'm just going to mute my current microphone that I'm recording this video. There we go. And now you can just hear me through the catch box. And if I just keep talking, you should be able to hear, if I pretend that I'm throwing the box, you should be able to hear that it auto mutes. So I'll just keep talking. Hopefully as I keep talking, you can see it kind of like cut in and out. So that's what happened. It cuts in and out as you um, throw it around the audience and as you, you know, if you're the, the presenter and you chuck it out into the crowd, you don't want to hear that rustle and smash if somebody drops it. So um, auto mute technology is what they call it. It just stops that noise from coming through. It should mute it. Um, it works pretty well, actually. Um, as you can see there, I was shaking it frantically trying to make my point. That's easier than me throwing it across the, the room here. So um, I just wanted to show you how that, how that works and how that sounds. But you should find that you don't have to mute and uh, take down the volume whenever it's being thrown around because it should do a lot of the work for you in terms of uh, in terms of bringing down that rustle and smashing of the boxes that moves around the room. 
And if we just take a quick look on their website, you'll see that there's two main versions, the Catchbox Pro, that's the one that I showed you here today, which is, um, you know, customizable and has a microphone built in, but not a transmitter or receiver. You supply your own. Um, that's what that one is here. They say it's good for conferences and, and venues and live events. And then they have the Catchbox, Catchbox Lite, which would be more for classrooms and workshops. In this case, you do get a, a transmitter and receiver built in, um, but it's a, it's a short range one. That's why they call it, or they say that you should use it for classrooms or workshops. They say in a room of about 100 people. So the, the um, transmitter and receiver that comes with that one is a little more low range and, and local signal. The Catchbox Pro on the uh, left hand side, you can put your own microphone pack in there and your own, or sorry, your own transmitter and receiver and you'll probably get a better range in a room of much more people. And like I mentioned before, you can also have those custom uh, covers they call it, which is basically your logos um, around the box instead of seeing um, all the Catchbox logos. If I click in a bit further to uh, the Catchbox Pro for example, in here you can see that uh, there's a few little images of the, the boxes and stuff. And then down here you can choose your own color, uh, blue, green, orange, or custom. You can add your own customs, your custom graphics to it. Um, this one in particular had a, a two side, but it doesn't seem like you can get that anymore based on this website. Maybe there's a, this is the EU store, so maybe the US store is different, I'm not too sure. But in this, side, in this instance, you can get custom graphics on four sides, upload your logos, and um, yeah, they'll just sort of print the logos onto your box, send it out to you, um, and you'll get your box with nice logos on it. Like I said, this is a custom one made by the company I, I worked for, and um, it looks great. The logo looks really good on there. The Catchbox logo on the other side, it's very subtle, so you barely even see that, um, but it looks very cool. A couple of the pros on this device is that it's good for audience engagement. Throwing around a box, um, I've found in the past that it just kind of brings a lot of laughter to the room, it brings a good atmosphere for most of the time. People are quite, amused by it um, and they kind of understand roughly how it works. They just kind of see somebody else doing it and talking into it or maybe the presenter can explain, just talk into this box. <laughs> and it looks like a big microphone on this end. It, it makes sense where, where you're supposed to talk into. So it's good for engagement because people kind of want to get their hands on it. Some people are more interested than others, but um, I think it, it brings certainly some laughter to the room as this box gets thrown around, possibly knock someone on the head lightly because it is, like I said, a big cushion, but they'll be perfectly fine. Um, but I think it's good for that. It's also good to throw around your logo. You know, we've got a big, big white logo here on a dark background. Um, if there's photos, if there's video of the conference, you're basically just throwing around a big logo. So you, as the, um, the conference recorder, or me as here to record, coming along to film a conference, I could put a big here to record logo on here. And basically people will just throw around my logo for the, the question segment, which would be great for all sorts of social media videos and all that good stuff. Um, I don't have any good videos of it in action, which is pretty sad, but um, you, I'm sure you can get the, the gist of throwing this box around and your logo stuck on the side. It's good for branding and all that stuff. And in terms of the cons, some people might not be so comfortable having things thrown at them. Certain events, it may not be appropriate, obviously. You'll have to stick with a, a, a normal handheld microphone. Um, but yeah, some people might not love this box coming at them. Um, and some people also, I think whenever you hold a handheld microphone, not everybody, but a lot of people really get that they just keep it here to, close to their mouth. But with this box, as it is sort of like a, a playful thing, Maybe it'll drift around, they'll move it around, they'll spin it as I'm doing right now, it's very distracting. But they might mess with it as they should be asking their questions. So you might have a few small issues like that, but just a reminder of how to use the box is good to have, sort of keep it this far away from your mouth and just talk clearly. Um, it might be a good thing to do before you throw it out into the audience. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. It's um, not super cheap, but uh, you can see the prices on the website there. If you already have, uh, a venue or you already have mic packs and receivers, it's as simple as just plugging it in there and um, it should work most of the time for you. Battery life runs for a long time, so it, it'll work pretty well. Um, I think it's great for engagement, it's great for throwing your logo around and uh, it's, it's, a good, it's a good solid option. The auto mute stuff works pretty well most of the time. I think if somebody is messing around with it in their hand and, and maybe talking as they you know scratch at it, you will have to keep in mind that you need to mute it at certain times because it is sort of like a toy. 
it's a big playful box, so people are going to mess with it a little bit. Um, but overall, I think it's a really good product. Um, it's worth checking out. You can find links to it below if you want to buy one for yourself or even just, you know, see how it works. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Here to Record Show and Tell. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.